everyone, it's Andrea and today I'm going to do a flip through of the new Jade Summer Camelot Colouring Book, Vampires. I love the Jade Summer Colouring Books because they have, um, they're one-sided so you've not got double pages and they have a black matte background so that you don't get any seepage. So I saw this recently came out and I thought I've got to get a copy so I bought it from Amazon. It was only £3.99, that's £3 because I'm in the UK. So I'm going to do a quick flip through and show you all the pictures. Title page of the various vampires. she's created. Another thing I like about these Jade Summer books is, like Selena Fennec, you get two of each picture. So if you want to, you can do different styles of colouring. So you can colour one really, really dark and gothic, or, very, or you could do them um, twilight style, or you can do both. It's entirely up to you. You can do different colours and different things. I already know a few ideas of what I'm going to do with this book when I start in it. I'm hoping to start soon. But once I finish Selena Fenix Mermaid, which I'm doing at the moment. So some of them are really like cute little vampires, like this one. And she's wearing a baseball cap. And boots. And then you get the sort of... I'm going to say she looks a bit gormless, but that's just me. <laughs> But I really like these drawings. This is a really nice one. I quite like that one. This is quite a nice picture. I'm not sure why he's got really long flowing hair, but there you go. Perhaps he's been in his coffin too long and his hair's grown, I don't know. But I really, really love these styles. This is going to be one of the first ones that I do because I really like this one and it's in keeping with um, something else that's going on in my life, which I'm not going to talk about right now, but uh, to do with um, Dracula stories and vampire stories. So it's great. This one actually reminds me of my friend Tash. <laughs> I don't know why, it's just the expression on her face reminds me of Tash. Sexy vampire with a glass of, well, it's a champagne glass, but I doubt she's drinking champagne. Two female vampires fighting. Vampire gets the crown. This is the first one I, I think I'm going to do. Um, when I time I finish with it, it's not going to look anything like that. He's not going to look like that at all. I've got my own ideas of what he's going to look like. And then again, as you can see, we're back at the beginning now with the first one. So you get two opportunities to do each picture, which I really like. And this seems really prevalent with Jade Summer and Selena Fennec. So I picked this one up at Amazon for £3.99. It's a bit of a bargain. It's only come out this year. It's a really new one. And I just really like the different drawings. And like I said, you get the black pages at the back so that you don't get any seepage. But yeah, the Jade Summer books I really like. Um, she's got quite a lot of different ones out, like um, ones I've got are Delicious Desserts. She's got an Ancient Egypt one. I've got Haunted House is another one. So she's got lots and lots. So she's got a Pride and Prejudice one. She's got an Edgar Allan Poe one, so yeah, this is this is going to be one of the first ones I do, along with the last one before it goes back to the first one. This one, they seem to be out of the rain, but uh, I just think he's too chiselled, too clean cut, so I'm going to make him a lot darker, a lot more scary than he looks. He doesn't look like a very scary vampire to me, so I'm going to make him look really scary if I can. <laughs> really looking forward to that. So that one is the Jade Summer book on vampires, which has only just not long come out. Only just not come out. Has not long been out. That's a brilliant one. I really like this one. This is a really good one. This is something like, yeah. 
modern vampire, the wolf. Full moon, you've actually got everything you want from your, your, your fantasy and your vampire fantasy. So, just a quick flip, flip through some Jamala cats. I did, um, the examiners are quite, they're cutesy pictures, but they're not as cute as, say, Sherry Baldy or, what's the other one? Hannah Lynn. Um, but I don't think you can go too cutesy with vampires because it just doesn't work for me. But, you know? This one's quite, this one's quite cute. But again, you can make her look as horrific or as pretty as you wanted. I'm tending to go for the horrific gothic look because that's the way I roll. So anyway, that's a quick flip through of the G Summer Vampire book, which is out now from Amazon. And like I said, I got mine for $3.99. I'm really looking forward to getting stuck into this and I will show you some pictures from it when I am done. That's all from me. Um